We started off with Amelius, then he goes into Enoch, Hermes, Melchizedek, Joseph, Joshua, Asaph, Jeshua, Zend, and then he became Jesus Christ. He also mentions in some of the other readings where we get into where he was Hermes, uh, who helped build the pyramids with Rata. Uh, there were other incarnations. He just goes basically into these ten, where he goes into them in a little bit more of a detail. Uh, so that means Casey was with Jesus. Correct. He, he apparently was with him a few times, in a few incarnations, and still had many incarnations where he screwed up, where he was a wasteful. Where that's what he says. He was uh, he was like a con man. Um, so that's why when they say judge not lest you be judged, you never know. You never know who you're talking to. Literally, you don't know who it is. So. We get into, uh, let's go into how we get into Jesus Christ. He says there was a group of people called the Essenes. The Essenes, the Essenes were a, Ju a Judean sect who followed the law very closely. They were preparing for the entrance of the Messiah. And Casey said that this is where this sect that Christ came through, and he came through Mary. There were a group of 12 of them, and Mary was one of these, one of the 12 that they thought that Christ might come through. He said that Mary was also born of a virgin birth. She also uh, was, did not come, did not have an earthly father. And he says, that Mary was the twin soul of Jesus. That was his <coughs> other half. Mary was the other half of Christ. So there's your positive and negative that come together. Uh, so she was chosen, and he goes into the excruciating detail here. Uh, great book, if you haven't read this one. This is a classic, Edgar Casey on the story of Jesus Christ, where he goes into all the characters, and the biblical characters, and what they wore, and what they dressed, now. Thought. I'm going to give it to you in a nutshell because otherwise I'd have to read you the whole book. But in, in essence, uh, he was raised as an Essene. He said he was born, there was a virginal birth. Uh, Joseph was the father. Who, she was 16 when Christ was born. He was in his 30s, which was a big age difference. Uh, he was raised up until the time he was, I think it was 12, in the Essene community. And there was this woman named Josie or Judy, they, he gives it to you in different names, who was one of the main teachers. And in the Essene community, the men and the women were equal. There was, uh, they were, wasn't that one was higher than the other. It was, one, it was a very egalitarian community. And then he says, and he goes again into detail, that Christ went to India. Christ went to Persia, and Christ had his final initiation with his cousin, John the Baptist, in the pyramid. That's where the final initiation took place. Uh, and again, he goes into different details about things that they were taught. And uh, let's see where we go. So then we, he goes into Amelius, the resurrection. He spends a lot of time in that Atlantis period talking about, here we get into, he says, the Atlanteans were able to project. They were still able to create things with their mind. But he says what happened is uh, some of the people of the Law of One also got involved sexually with uh, some of these things, they called them creatures. The big thing here was the, the, these creatures, these things, the sons of Belial used as slaves. They used them sexually, they used them to do their work, to do their labor. They did not want to work. I mean, they wanted their cake and they wanted to eat it too. Uh, but once they started to mix, to get involved with these creatures, they lost their powers. They lost their abilities. 
the ones that were still androgynous were the ones who could still create. And as time went by, uh, more and more of them got involved with these mixtures by, the, by dividing themselves. The book by Shirley MacLaine, The Camino, yeah, have you read that? Remember she talks about, there's a part of the book where she talks about how she separates herself into male and female. And that's what they did. And the sons and daughters of, of God looked at the sons and daughters of men and lusted after them. See, that's where you have it biblically. Where originally you had the souls that came down. There were two waves that came down trying to save us. And by and we got, they got involved the same way we did. See, all of us are fallen angels. All of us are fallen souls. If you remember that, when, when you talk about people who have fallen, we have all fallen, otherwise we wouldn't be here. Try to remember that. All of us. All of us screwed up. So nobody's better than anybody else. We all, we're all here. So now it's just a question of how we come back what they did is after they couldn't uh, create any more things and 